Hello, my YouTube friend. I'm excited. I'm back with another giant pile of comic books to go through with you guys. It's, I know it's been a couple of weeks. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, but I'm excited to finally be going through comic books. Comic books. That's right. Comic books. Okay, so let's start digging through these piles of comics. I have this package from eBay. It's eight comic books. I paid $20 for it. So is that like $2.50 a comic book? I think it's Bronze Age stuff. All right, let's dig through this package. So I paid $2.50 a comic book. It's in a Gemini mailer, so that's good. Okay, this looks cool. It looks like I bought a Bronze Age lot. I kind of wanted to work on my Bronze Age Wonder Woman run, and my patron Matthew also collects Wonder Woman, so I figure if I got some duplicates, they could go to him for his mystery box. If not, I could fill in my collection. And I think the price was pretty good. So we got Wonder Woman 237. Looks to be in pretty decent shape. Uh, Wonder Woman number 220. It was cut in a funny way, so you don't see the number. Uh, I forget the number, but very cool cover. Happy to have that. A uh, Black Hawk 250. That is cool. Ooh, Challengers of the Unknown number 79. I love the kind of goofy sci-fi stuff. That's an awesome cover. A uh, Black Lightning number 10. Happy with that. The Secret Society of Supervillains number 5. I love the series. I love all the covers on them. Really awesome cover. I might have that one already, so I'm going to have to double check. Uh, oh, and then this is one of the main reasons why I bought the slot was the Teen Titans number 45. I want to put a full set of the Silver or Bronze Age Teen Titans together. So like two fifty dollars a piece was good. This one does look like it has some chew damage or something going on right there. So not the highest grade, but nice enough grade that I'm happy for the price. And then uh, Teen Titans number 52. So that's really cool. Happy with that. Awesome lot. All right, I have this, oh, you, you know what? You guys forgot something. Hit the like button. All right, I hope you hit that like button. So we have one comic book here. I paid $29.96. Okay, so this isn't one of those like photo mailers. I like these mailers, they're pretty decent. They're pretty strong. What I like about them is the comic has some room on the edges, it kind of pinches. So if the corner does get dinged, it usually saves the comic book. And inside it looks like they have cardboard and foam core and all kinds of protection, so that's good. And the comic's double boarded. Uh, I forget what I bought that was worth 30 bucks though. <laughs> Just slide it out carefully. Uh, okay. So I bought a Patsy Walker number 89. Uh, I don't know why I paid so much for a higher number. Still, it's so hard to find these ones under 90. And this one has a little bit of a water stain right there. So I probably overpaid on this one a little bit. It might have just been that the shipping cost was too much. Like I might want it for 20 bucks. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But then they charge $10 to ship it kind of thing. Sometimes happens. I uh, I think I probably overpaid about 10 bucks on it, but I didn't have it and you barely see this issue ever listed. So I'm happy to have it. It's actually a really nice cover too. I love the composition. I love that it has books. I'm a big fan of just books in general. I've been buying and selling books for a long time. So I just have an affinity for books. I collect art books and all that kind of stuff. So cool cover. I do really like that one. All right, this is a box of comic books I got from my friend, Sean. Let's dig into this box and see what I got. Okay, this is another pile of stuff I got from my friend Sean. He had a Coco Ernesto. It looks like the international sticker. Uh, it does look like it was sun faded, so I'm not sure how much that's gonna be worth. I'm gonna look up on Pop Price Guide, but uh, it's a shame that's kind of sun faded. Uh, but the comic books, I think there's some beautiful stuff mixed in. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, we have Mephisto versus Fantastic Four number one. Uh, Venom number 26, a weird on sale variant. I'm not sure what kind of variant cover that is. Unbelievable Gwenpool number one. That's pretty cool. One well, of my patrons is looking for Gwenpool stuff, so it looks like there's two copies of that. So I might have one for him. That's pretty neat. Uh, Doctor Strange 381. Loki number one. That's like kind of a fun cartoony cover. It's pretty neat. Uh, Marvel's free previews number nine. Action Comics 1006, Captain America Variant Edition 44, a Batman New 52 number 9, uh, oh, and number 8 on the back there, number 14, the combo pack version, Batman New 52 number 3, number 4, these are kind of worn, so they're a little bit lower valued, uh, Batman Hush number 1, oh, okay, uh, Marvel Legacy number 1, fun uh i guess it's a foil it's not lenticular it's got an interesting look to it that's pretty cool interesting looking cover Ooh, oh okay okay we have amazing spider-man number 84 looks like a pretty decent high grade copy wow that's beautiful i love it oh, i love when he gives me this old silver age stuff 
Uh, oh, that cover is awesome. Green Lantern number 34. Beautiful, beautiful purple monster. Looks to be pretty decent condition too. Probably like a very fine. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have Fantastic Four number 86. A beautiful Doctor Doom cover. Love that one. Uh, oh, this is awesome. We have Strange Tales 122. Not in the best shape, but, you know, it's an older Marvel Silver Age issue. I love that. That is amazing. Uh, New Agents of Atlas number one. I think this issue is going up because it's the first appearance of three of the characters. I forget which three, but uh, I think there's going to be some demand for this issue. I need to get all the variants before the price is too crazy. Uh, Tales of Suspense. Is that number 10? Wow. That is awesome. That's a really early issue of Tales of Suspense. Wow, that's kind of amazing. That issue probably, even though it looks brittle, it might even be detached, that issue has to have some value to it. That's amazing. Okay, Batman number six, new 52. Not in the best shape. Uh, number two. I mean, it picked up for a dollar. It's worth a lot more than that. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. We have a Daredevil number 15. What a gorgeous cover. I love just the shadowing and just... The way the brown looks, it's very clean, too. It's pretty decent shape. Wow, that's a beautiful comic book. Oh, I love these old Daredevils. Uh, okay, Amazing Spider-Man number 55, a high-demand recent variant. Or I, or I don't even know if that is a variant. I just know this is one that people were paying for. This is a second copy he's given me, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to have one for sale. Venom first host number five. And uh, Howling Command of S.H.I.E.L.D., one of the hip-hop variants. That is pretty neat. Okay, that first handful is amazing. Some real good value in there. Okay, second stack. We have another copy of uh, Something is Killing the Children, number 11, I believe. A Jenny Friesen cover. Love this cover. Beautifully done cover. Uh, but that's going to be a duplicate. Marvel Team Up, number 14. Awesome cover. Uh, Old Man Logan. I don't know if that's a variant or not, but that's cool. Uh, Spotlight on the Genius. That is Joe Sacco. That is really cool. Like that. Love that indie stuff. Uh, Willow sketchbook. Looks like a adult comic book. Spider Man number two. Uh, Atlantis wasn't built for tourists. That looks like a cool looking comic book. Uh, Spider Man Gen thirteen. Interesting little mashup there. Uh, Gen thirteen Generation X. Batman Incorporated number eight. Uh, my friend Sean has sold me so many of these over the years. I don't know if he bought like. 20 of them when they came out or he just finds them all the time uh she hulk number one love that cover power girl number 26 machine man number four thor 440 and star lord magazine number one all right so that's a pretty nice little collection of comic books i really love the silver age stuff that's the stuff that really it just makes my heart go boom 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 boom, boom with excitement <laughs> okay this is a package i got from ebay it's one comic book i paid 19 dollars for it all right let's open it up okay so this is one comic book it's in a white envelope but it feels like a solid piece of cardboard inside yeah it looks like they had cut cardboard really thick nice cardboard with you know taping it together all the corners look like they're away from the edge. So that was a pretty decent packaging job. And then we got Patsy Walker number 82. It looks to be in pretty decent shape. It has one little like fingerprint water damage kind of thing going on there. Let me take out the bag. I want to look at the overall condition of it. Uh, it's got a little bit of a crease here and it feels a little bit dirty. I'm going to need to use some Absorberine to kind of get the dust off the top of it. You know, it's kind of got a dingy, dusty feeling. But overall, it's not too bad. It's probably like a very good. Inside's a bit browned. The pages aren't too bad, though. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very cool. It's been kind of hard to find issues below number 90 for like a pretty good price. 19 may have been a little bit high on it, but I'm happy with it. I have this package Subscribe here. Subscribe to the channel. Or if you're new here, I hope you did what he said. So this is 14 comic books. I paid $32.44. So that's like $2.50 a comic book. All right, let's open this package. Okay, so this is just like one of those envelopes that's full of shredded stuff, I think. So it's going to be messy to open. Oh, no, it's a bubble envelope. Okay, never mind. I thought it was one of those, but it's actually just a bubble envelope. And it looks like the comics inside were in Gemini Mailer. So I'm actually really happy with that. That's decent packaging. These are like $2.30 a comic book. 
I forget what's in here, if that was a good price or not. Okay, so I think these were all Bronze Age comic books, which I'm interested in getting a lot more of and just filling in my collection and trying to find the stuff I need. We have Green Lantern, Green Arrow 101. Looks to be pretty decent shape. Fine, fine plus maybe. Super Friends number three. I want to finish this set. Love the Super Friends. I love the cartoony stuff, so that is awesome. Uh, Green Arrow, Green Lantern 103. That's really cool. Uh, this issue definitely has probably like a $10 to $15 value. This is one reason why I've been on the lot. So we have a Detective $3.99. I'm going to pull out of the bag just to double check the condition. Yeah, this looks actually really nice. It's a solid, fine, fine plus. You know, it has some spine wear, but overall there's no major creases. It's kind of glossy. Inside looks pretty decent. Back cover looks good. Yeah, happy with that. Awesome. Awesome. Sometimes it's nice to buy a lot like this on eBay just for one or two comic books. Kind of that, you know, this is probably half or more of my value. So everything else is kind of like a bonus. Okay, we have Batman 249. This one's not as good shape. Still happy to have it though. I love the Bronze Age Batman. We have Batman 442, a newer semi-key. So that one has a little bit of value. Uh, Batman 497. This is, I guess, the newsstand version because it usually has the little spine thing on here. This one probably has a little bit of value because it's when Bane breaks Batman's back. I have to double check to see if something's missing or if it's like a newsstand variant. I'm guessing it's a newsstand variant. Uh, Legend of Dark Knight number one. This one is so overproduced. It's not really worth anything. Uh, this is super cool though. We have Strange Adventures number 214. I want to get a lot more of this Silver Age stuff. So I'm really happy. I think like 225-ish is a great price on that. All right, that's awesome first half. Let's open up the second box. Okay, oh, I love this Gilkane cover. It's a bit worn though. It's in a little bit worse condition than I thought it was going to be. But we have Green Lantern number 73, awesome cover. Absolutely love the color and just how everything's pink and he's in green, so it just, it pops. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Not the best shape. It, the spine is kind of torn up, a little bit rusty, but I still think that's probably like a $5 comic book. I probably still got a really good price on that. Okay, we have the Tales of the Green Lanterns Corp number one. That's actually a pretty awesome cover. Uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow number 99. Love that one. Brave and the Bold number 197. A lot of this stuff, like the later bronze stuff, you know, if I was to sell it, I'd probably be able to get the 250 back, maybe a little bit more, maybe three or four on some of them. But again, like I said, I bought it for the detective comic books and maybe a couple others. Uh, and Batman Family number 481. That's a pretty cool cover. I like that. All right. So I'm really happy with that lot. I think that was fantastic. And I'm pretty sure these two, the value of them probably equals about the 30 bucks I spent on everything, I think. So I got my value back on that. And so everything else is kind of like a free bonus. Okay, I got this box here. I paid $18.20 for it for 46 comic books. That's pretty cheap. What is that? Less than 50 cents a piece. Pretty awesome. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so these comic books are super cheap. I think there was a, just a handful that I really wanted for myself. And then some I thought just looked cool. And I'm a sucker for buying a lot of comic books for less than 50 cents a piece if it looks like it has a lot of interesting things in it. Even if it's not like a key issue or valuable or anything. So inside the box, everything's in bubble wrap. And a second brick of bubble wrap. All right. Okay, the first stack. So what we had was a lot of cool, you know, newer indie comic books. So from Boom Studios, we have Abbott 1973 number one. Thought that was a pretty cool looking cover. Uh, backtrack from Oni Press number one. And these are $4 cover price. So buying them for 50 cents, it's like, I feel like I'm getting a steal. Uh, Chew number one. That is awesome. Commanders in Crisis number one. Pretty cool cover. Uh, Legends of the Dark Knights. Dark Knights Metal number one. That's a pretty cool looking cover. And I, it was a $6 cover price. So 50 cents for that. Feels like a steal. Uh, Dark Knights Metal, Rise of the New Gods, number one. Another $6 cover price. So for 50 cents, awesome. Was it Dead Body Roar? A Road? Not sure. Really cool looking cover, though. Uh, Dead Kings, number one. That's a cool cover. Disaster Inc., number one. Grendel, Kentucky, one of four. Uh, oh, Okay. So I bought this lot basically for this one. We have a Horizon Zero Dawn Peach from Mocha cover. This would have been $4 new. I think it probably would have cost me like five or six to buy it online. Beautiful cover. I bought the whole lot just for this, but everything else is pretty cool so far. 50 cents a comic book. That's amazing. So happy with that. Uh, Infinite Dark number one. That's cool looking. 
Ink Blot number one. That looks cool. King of Nowhere number one. Lodger number one. Uh, Medieval Spawn and Witchblade. That looks cool. Spy Island number one. Scream Cursed of Carnage number one. That's cool. I didn't realize there's some Marvel stuff mixed in. So that's actually really awesome. Uh, Starship Down number one. That looks like a cool sci-fi issue. Uh, that Texas Blood number one. Oh, this is another one I really wanted too. I thought this cover looked awesome. We Live number one. It's like a cute post-apocalyptic comic book. I'm going to look inside. It's like I saw the cover of this somewhere else. And I think I was either looking for this or the Peach Momoka. But when I saw this in the lot, I was like, I think I actually ended up bidding a dollar a comic book. So getting this for 50 cents is amazing. This just looks really cool. It's like, you know, end of the world weirdness. I love survival tales like this. So this was like a comic book right up my alley. That's awesome. 50 cents. I'm so happy with that. And I think I won the lot for like $5 plus, you know, $5 shipping or something like that. Okay. And then the Whispering Dark number one. Okay. That lot was awesome. And we're not done. Okay. I forget if this is from the same lot or a second lot. I just know I paid super cheap overall. So let's see what we got in here. We got Cyber Force number one. Pretty cool cover. Uh, Cyber Force number three. Oh, there's one on the back. Cyber Force number four. Cyber Force number five. Uh, Everglade Angels number two. Rising Zero Dawn, the free comic book day comic. Uh, Lil Lulu, free comic book day comic book. Uh, Bronze Age Mickey Mouse comic book. That's cool. Another Mickey Mouse comic book. Mickey Mouse again. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, oh, it's <laughs> so it's a Mission Impossible, but his beard is painted in. That's fun or drawn in. That's kind of funny. Uh, Bolivian Song number nine. That's kind of a cool cover. Smite number one. Smite number three. That's kind of a cool cover. Uh, Free Spider Man Day comic book number one. I think this one actually has a little bit of value. So that's cool. Uh, Teen Titan Starfire number one. Teen Titan Starfire number two. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, number four. I think that one has a little value as well. That's a... Uh, I might have bought this lot just because I think one of my patrons likes wrestling stuff. So I thought I'd get that. Uh, a Walk Through Hell, number four. The Weirin Books, free comic book day comic book. X-Men, free comic book day comic book. Uncanny X-Men, number 22. And uh, X-Men, number 13, variant edition. So this lot wasn't as exciting as the first bundle. But I think still for 50 cents a comic book, that was pretty awesome. Okay, I have another package here. Leave a comment below. All right, I hope you left the comment below. So this is three comic books. I paid $38.99. Okay, so I uh, I paid $13 a comic. I forget what was in here. I don't know if I overpaid or if it's something I just decided I had to get. Oh, they didn't bag and board these. Oh, yeah. These are super cool. I really want them. I want to finish putting together my Bee and Puppy Cat set. There's that one normal cover. I think it's number six seven or eight or nine one in there that's going for a lot of money now people are paying crazy money i hope i have that one because i've been kind of buying them when i see them out of dollar bins for years but i figure it's time to fill in the collection so we have a virgin variant what issue is this this is uh doesn't say just says limited edition cover d oh yeah this is number one so this is the first issue the cover d virgin variant this looks in pretty good shape it's probably a very fine plus to near mint, so I'm happy with that. I think that issue is undervalued at 13. And then this one is... Uh, let me see if this is number one as well. Yeah, this is also number one. So it's the C Virgin variant of number one. Okay, $13 each. A lot of people are paying for the cover A. I don't know why people aren't paying as much for the other covers. So $13 actually I think was a good price on that. Okay, and then this is, I believe, the cover B... Uh, just this limited edition. Oh, no, this is the Cards and Comics Collectibles variant. This one I knew was a little bit beat up. They listed it as damaged. So let's look at it. It's got, like, a couple little marks on it, like a stain maybe, and a little bit of a crease right there. And a little bit of a stain right there. You know, so in this condition, it's probably only a fine, fine minus. It's not super high grade or anything but the high grade ones on this issue i think the lowest one on ebay right now is a lot of money maybe over 100 bucks so 13 dollars, even though it's lower grade i'm just happy to have it because i wanted the issue to have in my collection not necessarily to flip it if it goes up in value and if it goes up in value i'm just happy to have it 
And if I can get another one in a better shape for cheap later on, I am happy. But if I can't, I'm just happy to have it. All right, so those are cool. I'm really happy to have those. Awesome. All right, this is a stack of comics I bought from my friend Sean. Let's go through the stack and see what he sold me. First, we're going to start with uh, Tamashi Nation's Bandai Birds of Prey Harley Quinn figure. She is really cool. I'm actually going to add this to my collection. I actually really enjoyed the Birds of Prey movie. I think it was better than the Suicide Squad. So that is really cool. I love that one. Uh, okay, let's grab a stack of these. See what we got here. Okay, we have a Justice League of America versus Avengers issue number three. These are pretty collectible. People love it when the two universes kind of come together. And it has a really awesome cover. Uh, I haven't looked up the value in a while, but they're usually like 10 to $20 retail on these. That is really cool. We have Avengers 221. Love that cover. A giant size X-Men number four. Uh, Dark Knights 3, number 4. Uh, Star-Lord, The Hollow Crown, number 1. All right, so, so far, nothing too exciting jumping out, but still fun. Uh, Savage Sword of Conan, number 165. Beautiful painted cover. Adventure Comics 331. I love the old uh, Silver Age stuff. That is cool. Uh, Inktober. So this must be just like a sketchbook. Yeah, it's just a sketchbook someone did. But it looks really beautiful. All right, that is cool. I haven't seen that before. Uh, Poison Ivy number one. Marvel Team Up number 57. Love that cover. Awesome comic book. Uh, Justice number five. A Witchblade number 40. A Dark Knight Master Race book six. And Oh, okay. So this is one he found in the dollar bin and he showed it to me. I'm like, I wanted that. I offered him 15 bucks. It took him a couple weeks to decide because what he does is every time he finds a signed comic book in the dollar bins, he just puts it into his collection and he has like one or two long boxes full of signed comic books. He even recently found two comic books signed by Stan Lee. It blows my mind the stuff he finds. Anyway, this looks like it's signed by Natasha Allegri with a couple little uh, drawings on it. This is, I think, the uh, it's the second print cover. I think this one is kind of hard to get and going up in value. So I told him I'd give him the 15 bucks that I think it was worth. It might be worth a little bit more. And he finally said, you know what? I'll sell it to you because I know you really want it. So I'm really excited to get this. I do want uh, to finish putting my Bee and Puppy Cat set together. I do really like the cartoon. I was watching it recently, and it's a lot of fun. It's like Adventure Time-esque. I kind of like that weird, surreal storytelling. So this was a lot of fun. I really want to get that. Oh, okay. Here we go. A beautiful, amazing Spider-Man number 49. Pretty high grade. It's got a little hits of wear, so it's probably like a very fine minus. Still, oh, this is beautiful. I love just the gradient. It goes from like a light blue to a blue to like a purple to a darker purple. And it just, it looks like it has little textures to it. Just the way they print or they did print. Oh, it does look like, oh no, that's just on the bag. I saw a little blue right there, but that's on the bag. Uh, that is awesome. This is going to be a huge chunk of the value just here. Love that cover. All right. Awesome. we got one big hit in this pile. Okay. Now we have, uh, Mendy and Gollum, number 14. That's like a weird indie comic book. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Wolverine number 11, variant issue. That is beautiful. Savage Sword of Conan the Barbarian, 134. Love those painting covers. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, baby. Look at that. Daredevil number 11. It's a little bit yellowed, but other than that, it looks pretty high grade. Maybe it has a little bit of a water stain right there, but oh, that's probably like a fine plus very fine copy. That's amazing. I love Daredevil. I want to get all the earlier issues and getting them in high grade like this. Oh, that's amazing. I, I got to take a moment to breathe. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Woo. Beautiful. Okay, Daredevil 118. Awesome issue. It looks in pretty decent shape. Oh, no, it has a little bit of staining down here, so not in the best of the shape. I'm hoping he didn't pay 25 for that, because this condition is... Eh. Beautiful comic book, though. Uh, Death of X, number one variant cover. Awesome Black Bolt cover. I really like that cover. Done really well. Uh, ooh, okay, X-Men Black, number one. It's a J. Scott Campbell Emma Frost variant. That is neat. Uh, okay, we have another J. Scott Campbell. And I think, that, yeah, both of these are colored by Sabrina Rich. I always like the way she colors things. Very beautiful. It's kind of got the old school, like, faded look. 
So, you know, that's I like the way she colors. She's a good colorist. She makes his work, his stuff by itself. Eh, it's OK. Like the women look nice. Not sure if I love his composition, but I love the way she colors. So we have a uh, mystique number one. That is cool. Don't have that. We have a DC versus Marvel. It's a DC Universe logo on the bottom. So this might have some more value to it. That is cool. Uh, Power Man number 44. Love that. That is awesome. Avengers number 10 variant edition. That is cool. Uh, okay, this looks like an adult comic book. So skip ahead. Uh, Hulk 192. Awesome cover. Marvel team up number 42. With the Vision. That's cool. I've been really enjoying WandaVision. The finale was fantastic. Uh, left me kind of sad. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Thor number 236. Love that. That's awesome. Uh, Batman New 52 number 8. This one's kind of beat up. So lower grade. Donald Duck 286. That's fun. Uh, the Incredible Hulk number 12. Okay. Let's see. I wonder. I don't know if there's any more Silver Age or big hits in here. But we shall see. Okay, we got Superman, Wonder Woman, number one. The lenticular on here is not that great, but it's still cool. All right, Betty, 54. Uh, Spider-Man, 36, A Maximum Carnage. This one has a little bit of value. That is cool. Ooh, this is neat. So we have a Detective 414. The person said it was good, very good. It might go into that fine. It might be a little bit better than that because that's a pretty nice looking copy. That is awesome. I love the old Batman stuff. Uh, Detective 409. This one's a little bit more beat up, but still very awesome. Detective number 418. A really awesome purple cover. I love that. Uh, Batman 417. What a beautiful cover. That is awesome. Uh, oh, okay. And then Batman number one. I think this is the second or third print. Third print, I believe. Uh, it has a little bit of value. Not as much as it used to, but that's still really cool. Very cool comic book. Okay, so that sack is really cool. Definitely worth more than the 100 I paid him already. I just got to figure out how much more I want to give him. All right, this is a package of five comic books I paid $28.98 for. All right, let's go through this package and see what I got. Okay, so these are in a manila envelope. It feels like a solid piece of cardboard inside, so I think they used a decent amount of cardboard to protect it, so that's good. Again, they used priority boxes inside. That seems to be common with a lot of people. Uh, I don't know because there's a crease right here and these are meant to fold. I don't know if that's the best use of cardboard, but they used a lot and they made it thick. So I think we're pretty okay. Okay, so we have five Silver Age Patsy Walker comic books. They were just under $6 a piece and they look in pretty decent shape. You know, maybe some light marks on here, but this is a solid mid-grade copy, I think. That's pretty awesome. It's kind of hard to get these in decent shape. Uh, number 111. Also, you know, like a fine minus to a fine. Really happy with that. That's great. Number 110. Now, some of these I do have, but I think these are condition upgrades. 110 looks great. Number 109. You know, it's got a couple little hints of creases. But again, probably like a fine. Fine minus. And number 107. Again, a little bit of wear, but pretty decent shape i'm really happy with that i think that was a great purchase you don't see them that often in that condition for a good price okay this is a package of four comic books i paid 24 dollars 99 for uh, i think i got a steal on this package his description was kind of confusing a little bit and the way i asked him if anything was cut out and he said there was all the cutouts so i was like well you mean nothing's cut out and so i think he said that everything is complete I believe. Either way, I think I got a really good price on this. So let's dig through this package. Okay, so this was four comic books. It's in a bubble envelope. It has a lot of cardboard in it though. So I think it's pretty protected. Inside is cardboard. And then the comics are in uh, craft paper. Is that what you call it? Or construction paper. Uh, they're not bagged and boarded, but it looked like it shipped pretty decently. So I paid like $6.25 a comic book. Uh, this was sort of like, uh, it's either too good to be true or I got an amazing deal. So we're going to see the way he described it was it actually even had it at $25. And I kind of asked him, I said, is it cut up? He said it had one Katie Keen cut out. And I was like, oh, is it cut out or does he mean it's complete? Like the way he described it. So we have Katie Keen 25. A beautiful cover. And I mean, it looks like it has a tear right here. But other than that tear, it's actually a pretty decent looking copy. Usually the 20s, you don't get them in too good of a shape. They're usually pretty beat up. Uh, okay, let's go through carefully. Uh, staples intact. The pages are a little bit tanned, but not terrible. 
and I'm not feeling usually when there's cut pages you can kind of feel the floppiness I don't think anything's cut out I think a couple of things oh there's a little bit of a tear right there as well in the back but I think he said one or two of like the forms or puzzles were drawn in inside ah this is awesome I love the artwork on these old Katie Keens and yeah I'm pretty sure it's incomplete and it looks really nice. I'm happy with that. I think this alone is probably worth about 20, 25 in that condition. So the rest will be for free, basically. Great price. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, let's see. I see a couple of rust stains, but we got Katie Keen number 32. Absolutely love this cover. I think this is an awesome cover. It does have a chip out. So it's chip right there. It looks like it has a little bit of mold damage. Maybe a little bit of a chew right there and some rusty staples. But overall, the cover looks pretty decent. Like this, I don't think I have a 32. So this makes me happy enough for now. Like eventually I'll try to find a better one. But this one is not too bad. It has a little bit of over ink on the blue. That's weird looking. Let's look through inside. Yeah, there's a little bit of pencil inside. The puzzles and stuff are drawn on. But I don't think it's cut. As long as they're not cut, I'm okay with a few things marked up. So that's not too bad. That's probably more like a good, good plus, but a very nice looking one. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so far this has been a really great deal. Okay, oh, this is one, this is the cut up one. Okay, I'm okay so far. I figured one or two might be cut up. So we have Katie Keen 29. I do have this one already though, so it's not the end of the world. Absolutely love this cover. I think it's funny, but also beautiful at the same time. And interior, I don't think the interior is cut, but the back cover is cut and the staples are loose. So it's low grade, but not too bad. You know, it's fair maybe, but if you buy and board it, you can see the cover full image. I think the one I have now, the cover looks a little bit worse. So I might keep both for now until I can get a better one. So that's pretty good. And again, I said I paid $6 each. The first two I think were easily worth Maybe 20, 25 for first one, second one, like 15 to 20. Third one, maybe 10 bucks, maybe a little bit less. Okay, and then the last issue is number 33. All right, so these are all decent lower number ones. You don't see these as often. I do have this one already though. I think the one I have is a little bit better. Staples are attached, but it looks kind of browned. But I don't think it's cut up. Nothing's flopping out as being cut. So that's awesome. $25 was a steal on this lot. I'm really happy with that. That's amazing. Okay, this is a package of one comic book. I like when people use a box to ship and not really an envelope. I personally use a Gemini mailer inside a flat rate envelope. So that is a box, but a box within an envelope. That's a good way to. Um, but this is one comic book. I paid $24.95 for it. Let's open up and see what I got. Bubble wrap and cardboard in the box. Uh, oh, this looks in pretty decent shape. So we have Patsy Walker number 58, although it does look like on his legs is a little damaged. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. Let me look closer. It's been hard to kind of find any of these in decent shape. Now it looks like it has a little water damage on it. Yeah, so this needs a little cleaning and maybe a pressing, but I think after it's pressed, it wouldn't look too bad. The back cover looks really nice. You know, so as is, it's probably only a good just because of the way it's warping on the cover from water or some kind of condensation. But I think if you pressed it, you could press it to a very good pretty easily. I really need to get into pressing. I haven't done it myself yet, but I want to get into it. I want to take issues like this and try to fix them up because it actually looks really presentable. The colors are really vibrant. I mean, it's a little damaged, but overall, it's a pretty decent looking copy. Happy with that. All right, this is a small stack of really awesome comic books I bought from my friend Sean. Let's go through this stack and see what I got. All right, we got five beautiful Silver Age comic books from my friend Sean. He sold them to me a few weeks ago. They just missed my last video, so time to show them in this video. So we have a Fantastic Four number 82, a beautiful, beautiful high-grade copy. Absolutely love it. And the white is pretty white, it's slightly yellowed, but not too bad. The spine looks clean, just the very lightest hint of wear. Oh, I just, whenever you see Silver Age stuff in high grade, it just, it's beautiful to me. It's like, you don't see them that often. So when you see them, it's just amazing. Uh, okay, we have House of Mystery number 148. Pretty decent high-ish grade. It's not, you know, near mint. Even, it might be a very fine minus. Maybe a very fine. 
but still very beautiful cover and it looks it almost looks like a modern cover just the way it looks it's awesome uh, okay aquaman number 51 an early bronze age aquaman i believe it's a nick cardi cover absolutely love how nick cardi composes covers beautiful cover i love the colors and just everything about it pretty high grade as well and sean knows i'm working on the aquaman run so i'm happy that he got that for me uh fantastic four number 76 look at this cover this i'm gonna take you out of the bag because there's a sticker and we need to look at the cover even more uh, when i open up old comics like this i hate when there's tape i always take the tape off it's too easy to get tape pulls i hate that okay there we go look at that i just love the like the shadows were either done in watercolor or something and then you got the purples that are like multi-shade of purple and like in mr fantastic's hand how it's like a bluish into like a purpley blue and just the colors and everything about this cover is beautiful and the condition is nice it's a little bit worn on the spine but it's definitely like a very fine minus to very fine copy on oh, the interiors are white off-white maybe this is a comic book you guys treat really gently beautiful comic book though i love that one Okay, and then we have a Amazing Spider-Man number 74. Another beautiful comic book. Great condition. I love whenever I can get the old Spider-Man stuff in great shape for a decent price. This is just like, this is like gold to me. It just makes me so happy to own this. Beautiful copy too. I just love how it's like, I don't know how they printed it. It's got to be a different printing technique because it's just like, it's got a texture in it and it goes kind of like a blue into purple into blue and then these blue are like a light blue it just changes gradient slightly and just beautifully colored and printed comic book i love that okay awesome comics all right this is a package of three comic books i paid 8.95 for uh, i think i got a pretty good deal on these all right let's open this package and see what i got all right the comics are in between cardboard uh, it looks sloppy, but I think it was, although it slipped out a little bit, but I think they arrived okay. Okay, so we have three Lumberjanes Virgin Variant covers. $3 a comic was awesome on this. The first one, I think this is issue number one. It's the Denver Comic Con exclusive. That is amazing. I think $3 was a great price on that. It looks to be in really good shape. Uh, I believe this is number 42 Virgin Variant. Very cool looking cover. And then this is number two, the regular Virgin variant. Uh, I think these in the future, if the cartoons any good, are going to be worth a ton of money. So I'm so happy to get them. I need to finish putting the set together. I want to get all the variants and all the rare ones and just everything that I'm missing. Hopefully I can still get them before the prices go a little insane. I mean, me just showing them on video might make a few people buy them. So I got to get them. <laughs> Super happy with that. Okay, I believe this is a Japanese magazine I bought. I really wanted. I paid $15 for this package on eBay. I think they had it listed at $32 and I gave them a $15 offer and they took it. So I'm really excited that I got this. All right, let's open up this package. Okay, so this was like a... Looks like they packaged it in brown paper with maybe some cardboard. Hopefully it's okay. Okay, so we have a Shonen Sunday graphic magazine from the early 80s. It's a Yorosai Yatsura cover and issue. I think the whole issue is just all Lum and Yorosai Yatsura. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> I love uh, Komiku Takahashi. I believe that's her name. The artist who draws her. I just think the anime is really cute and the manga is really cute. So inside we have, I don't know, a subscription card or something. And a really cool acetate. It's like a clear in front of some mountains or something. So it's a really cool graphics. And then we got just more pages of art. I love her artwork. I think it's great. And these are, I'm not sure what those are. Can't really read the Japanese. One day we'll have a cool translation device that looks like some cool merchandise pictures and recipes and more figures. We got to skip a page. Uh, just looks like really cool figures. I would love to get all those, all the vintage early 80s figures. Those are probably pretty hard to get because I don't really see those very much at all. If not the model kits, I do see occasionally. So we've got some cool model kits. Some figure drawings. Uh, looks like some screenshots from the show. Uh, oh, more merchandise. I like these merchandise pages because you can kind of see what they made back then. 
I would love to collect all the old stuff. I love the way old school 1980s anime looks like, especially earlier anime. I just, there's an art to it that I really enjoy. And then these pages are cool. They're kind of like a red and black and white. More character drawings. Uh, some comic books. And, uh, and a lot of text. I can't read any of this, but it's all amazing to me. Oops. And more merchandise. And then some figures and stuff on the back cover. That is cool. I want to collect a lot more of these. He had it for $32. If I bought any of these from Japan, it would probably cost me like 30 bucks. I gave him an offer of 15 bucks. He took it. I'm so happy you get that. Awesome. Okay, so this is a single comic book I bought on eBay. I paid $27 for it. All right, let's open up see what I got. All right, so this is in a box. It looked like it was packaged pretty well. I think we'll be okay. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I just recently bought this just a few days ago, actually. So it's a Hulk number 14, 27. I don't know if that's a good price or not. It was the cheapest one on eBay. I just decided, someone posted about this. I think number 16 is her first full appearance. Number 15 is supposedly her first cameo appearance. But number 14, she had the variant on the cover. So I was like, you know what? I don't think I had the variant. I had the other two. And it looks like it's in good shape. It's very fine, the near mint. I don't, it might have very, very, very minor spine creases, but like so small. It's definitely the nines if I got graded. So I'm happy with that. And it's like a cover appearance before the cameo. I think this comic has a lot of future potential. If she shows up in the show or in a movie or something, people will start paying silly money. So I wanted to have one before it went too crazy. 27, maybe a little bit high, but I think in the long run, I'll be happy I had it. All right, this is a box of comic books I bought from Midtown Comic Books. They had a sale going on, so I got a lot of really cool stuff that I wanted for like two bucks a piece. I think there was a couple more expensive ones mixed in, but the prices they had on their sale was cheaper than I've been seeing online, so I was really excited to get a lot of these. All right, let's go through this box. All right, this is just a really nice quality box. And they bubble wrapped it, and then they put it in their Midtown Comic bags and slides. Really nicely done. Let's see, the Midtown Comics bag. So I went on their website and I uh, noticed they had a sale going on. So I looked up a couple of the titles I was kind of working on or looking for. And they had really good deals. So I ended up grabbing 30 comic books. Uh, it looks like I ended up paying about $3 a comic. But I know a lot of them were 2 bucks, And there was like one or two more expensive ones. Here we go. All right. So we uh, this is a new comic book. We have uh, X-Men number 18 Peach Momoka cover with the X-23. Love that cover. Beautiful cover. Uh... This one, I think, was not too much of a discount. It's like maybe like $3.25 or something like that. It was less than cover price, so I'm happy with that. Uh, Bee and Puppy Cat number six. This was two bucks. I couldn't believe they had some Bee and Puppy Cat stuff for two bucks. So I'm really happy to get that awesome cover. Uh, Bee and Puppy Cat number six. This was the Virgin variant. I think this one was like $8. I think $8 was super cheap on this as well. I'm trying to work on a set of all these, so I just, I'm grabbing what I can when I see it. Uh, okay, we have a uh, Rem 8, number 3. Uh, it's a Rothic comic book. I'm not sure who did the cover. I think Sabine Rich did the interiors. So I basically grabbed all the Rothic stuff they had that was like 2 bucks. Because usually this stuff is more expensive. Uh, let's see. Dawn Matigue. Oh no, Dawn Matigue drew these. It says Dawn Matigue artwork inside, I believe. Which is cool. I like her artwork. So that was pretty cool. It was worth two bucks to me. And then uh, the Vinica number five. I think that's also a Dawn Matee cover painted. I thought that was a beautiful cover. kind of wish these big stickers weren't on the front. <laughs> Blocking the artwork. Let's pull it out for a second. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. It's got kind of like a flat finish to it. I kind of like when comics have a flat finish like that. Yeah, the interior artwork's beautiful, too. I love a comic when the interior is about as nice as the cover. A lot of times the cover's really nice and the interior kind of sucks. So that's beautiful. Happy with that for two bucks. Uh, oh, this was a Sabine Rich foil variant. This one I think I might have paid more for. This might have been one of the $20 ones. Let's see what this is. Uh, yeah, this is the Foil Lady Death, number one. Uh, I can't really see the foil. It's kind of... Let's see if I can get it on camera. That's a cool-looking cover. That's foil done well. 
And I love Sabrina Rich stuff. So that was worth $20 to me. That was a beautiful comic book. I think this one, if I remember correctly, is super limited too. Uh, I don't see the limit on it, but I think it's under 500 copies. So I'm happy with that. That's amazing. Okay, we have Lamirta number two. I believe that's a Sabine Rich cover. Yeah, it's Sabine Rich. That's cool. I'm trying to get everything that she's drawn. So I'm happy with that. Uh, this is a Southern Nightgown number three. I think it's Dawn Matigue drawn, Sabine Rich colored. A lot of these you just can't find anymore for cheap. So since they had a few for like two bucks, I was really happy to get that. That is cool. A beautiful comic book. Uh, okay, we have Southern Nightgowns number seven. It's a Sabrina Rich cover. I just bought this one for like $12 on eBay. It's the cheapest one I could find. And I love this cover. I think it's a beautiful composition. I just love, she's got the yin yang thing going on. I love all the details and the lace here. And they had this one for two bucks. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy another copy for $2. <laughs> Why not? Beautiful comic book. Uh, okay, we have Killers number four. Awesome David Nakayama cover. Two bucks for that. Was it Bella Ghost and Goblins number one? Or it's a one shot Sabine Rich cover. Love that. I don't know if that's sort of based on the video game or just their own thing. They kind of do their own thing. Uh, this one I think was like four bucks, if I remember correctly. Uh, Coven number five, Sabine Rich cover. That's awesome. I'm happy to get that two bucks. Uh, Inferno number four, Sabine Rich cover. I think that one was two bucks. Uh, oh, okay. This is one I've really wanted for a couple months now, and I couldn't find it for under 15 to 20 bucks. So we have Theory of Magic number one, and I believe Sabine Rich did all the interiors. Uh, if I can remember. Yeah, I believe all the interiors are Sabine Rich. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. I think I even have the original art for one of these pages. But that was awesome. I am thrilled. I love this cover. I just love all the like details she puts into it. Two bucks for that. Awesome price. Couldn't believe I could get that for $2. That's what made me make the order. I wasn't sure if I was going to find enough. But when I saw that for $2, I'm like, I'm going to find other stuff. I'm going to see what I can to make an order. Okay, so we have Theory of Magic number four. I believe Sabine Rich colored this one. Not as fun as some of the other ones, but still pretty cool. Uh, Theory of Magic number two. This is a Sabine Rich cover. I love that cover. I think this is like her main comic she worked on. And I'm pretty sure she did the interiors. Story and script. Pencil. Yeah, she did all the interior work too. So I'm actually really happy to get that. It's like some people you just get a cover. But if you're like an artist, it's awesome when you can get a whole issue full of stuff that they drew. And it's all beautiful work. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Some of these drawings are better than the cover. No, actually, the cover on this is really nice. But that is awesome. So happy to get that for two bucks. Theory of Magic number three. Another beautiful cover. Being rich again. And I'm assuming she did all the interiors. Yeah, it looks like her work. She does these really awesome watercolors. Drawings. Yeah, I'm going to have fun just reading through these and checking them all out. So that's beautiful. That's awesome. Okay, Theory of Magic number six. Another Sabine Rich cover. That is beautiful. And these are all high grade. They are, they list them as near mint and they look near mint. This one has got like static electricity. Oh yeah, I love the pages. I remember when I saw her doing these. They're all watercolored, really beautiful pages. This is, I think, had one of my favorite interiors out of the series. These are amazing. Beautiful artwork. So really happy with that. That is cool. Two bucks well spent. Okay, we have Chastity number two. David Nakayama cover. Love his artwork. Thought that was cool. Uh, Wonder Woman number 52. A Jenny Friesen cover. Awesome cover. Uh, Bee and Puppy Cat number seven. Two bucks. I couldn't believe they had some for two bucks. Happy to get that. Uh, Bee and Puppy Cat number seven. I believe one of these is the A cover. One is the B cover. This is the B cover. Love that. Two bucks for that. I'm happy with that. Uh, Bee and Puppy Cat number 10. Two dollars. Super thrilled with that. Uh, Bee and Puppy Cat number 11. Again, two dollars. I can't believe I got all those for two bucks. Uh, oh, I must have grabbed a couple of copies of that by mistake. So I'm just going to hold on to them because I think the value of these are starting to go up. And I absolutely love them. 
Uh, Wonder Woman number 53, another awesome Jenny Friesen cover. Beautiful. Uh, not sure this it's backwards. I don't know if this is another one of those like special covers. Uh, Mercy number three. I'm not sure who did the cover, but that cover is amazing. It's so creepy awesome. And it was two bucks, so why not? Interiors look pretty awesome too. So yeah, for two bucks, I had to have that. Okay, and then we have the Unsacred number two, the Sabine Rich cover. Two bucks for that. Really happy to get that. I've been trying to get this cover, but it's like usually five or six everywhere. So two bucks is awesome. Uh, okay, this one's backwards. So I gotta figure out what it is. I don't know unless it's a... Oh, this is a brand new issue. It's the Courier issue number two, I believe. It's a Sabine Rich cover, and I absolutely love the cover. I love... Sabine Rich has done this a few times where she'll put, like, some kind of background square sort of at an angle, and then the character in the front of it. I like how she does that composition. I think it works really well. The character looks really cute. It's done well. She's, uh... Looking pretty awesome. Someone else did the interiors, but the interior artwork looks pretty awesome. But yeah, that was, I think I just paid cover price, or I might have been a little bit undercover. Uh, $6, so it might have been like 4 or $5, maybe. I just decided I had to have that since I'm collecting all her artwork. Super happy with that. And, uh, oh, okay. This one's backwards, too. Let's see what we got here. And, uh, oh, okay. And then we have a Peach Momoka on Sacred cover number three. Wow, that's an awesome cover. Love that. I love her artwork because it's like this beautiful watercolored. It has an artistic nature to it. And I just, I love it. I think it's beautiful. All right, I'm super happy with those. I think I got a lot of really cool comic books and the price was fantastic. All right, this is a mystery box from my patron, Alex. He's sending these to trade me. I think there's some toys, some comic books and other kind of fun things mixed in. I'm not 100% sure what's in here, but I'm really excited to go through it. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, this box comes from my patron, Alex. It's, uh, I think he added some toys to it, some comic books, where basically it's a blind mystery box trade. So I'm going to give him something else back, but I don't know what's in here. It's kind of exciting. Okay. All right. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. <laughs> All right. Looks like a couple of bricks of comic books and some toys. Uh... You know what? I'm going to hold off opening up the three toys in my next pop video and just going to do the comic books today because this is a comic book video. So if you guys are excited to see what's in here, which I am, you're going to have to wait just like me. Okay, let's go into the comic books. I've got one brick and two bricks. Okay, break one of comic books. Let's see what we got here. Strange Academy number one, third printing. Uh, Bell one shot. Not sure if I'm familiar with the artist, but that's really cool looking. Uh, Grim Universe Presents 2020. Bounty Hunters number one. Uh, ooh, okay, that's cool. We have a uh, Scarlet cover. Love Scarlet. Cool character. G.I. Joe comic books. Uh, not sure what comic book it is, but that's a cool looking cover. How it's the reflection of the three people. I'm guessing a lot of this stuff must come in uh, mystery boxes because Alex likes a good mystery and I know he buys a few comic book mystery boxes so seven days uh I don't know the number Let's see if inside seven days issue number two that's a really cool looking cover that looks like uh that might be from the G.I. Joe movie it's a virgin variant uh okay all these virgin variants I have no idea what this is either. Yeah, this is all mystery box stuff. I know it is. It has to be. This is uh, The Lone Ranger number eight. Okay, that's a pretty cool cover. Love that. Okay, we have a Fantastic Four Virgin variant cover. That's amazing. That is really cool. Love that. Uh, Die number 11, second print. Beautiful cover. Vampirella, The Dark Days, number one. Uh, Tales of Suspense, Hawkeye and the Winter Soldier, number 101. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales 2020 Holiday Special. Mercy, number one. Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure which printing or which variant that is. But that is really cool. Uh, Kong of the Planet of the Apes. Okay, that's actually pretty awesome. The Amazing Mary Jane, number six variant edition. 
The Immortal Hulk number 25, Mary Jane variant. That's an awesome cover. Uh, Naruto, the free comic book day comic. I think this one actually has a little bit of value. Rogue Planet number one. Uh, Cinderella one shot. Grim Fairy Tales number 39. And Jabba the Hutt from Star Wars Age of Rebellion number one variant edition. Okay, that's a lot of really cool comic books. Thank you, Alex. All right, bundle number two. Alex keeps sending me stuff. I have to find some stuff for him. I told him, oh my gosh, I owe you too much. He's like, you know, I like having it a little bit built up. So <laughs> I think he just enjoys clearing out some stuff he doesn't want. And he knows he'll get something cool back. So that's fun. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we have The End, Deadpool number one. That's a really fun cover. Uh, Strange Academy number two. I think that's Scotty Young. Not 100% sure, but I think he's the main artist on the comic book. Uh, Angel number seven, one in 20 variant. That's really cool. I do like the Buffy stuff. Dynamite, one of five. Uh, Vampirella, the Dark Powers, number one. Cool black and white cover. Uh, sketch variant for, I'm guessing, a Red Sonia or Vampirella or something. Not sure. Uh, Virgin variant to something. Not sure. <laughs> Virgin variants are sometimes difficult to figure out what they are. Okay, Red Sonia, Age of Chaos, number four. Really cool sketch cover. Love that beautiful cover. Uh, Vampire 11, another cool sketch cover. The Seance Room, it says it's double signed, so I guess it's signed by the artist and the... Yeah. I guess the artist and the writer. Uh, not sure what series, but that's a cool looking cover. And the colorized version of the same comic book. Uh, X of Swords, number one. X-Men Blue, number one, variant edition. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, I'm guessing this is stuff he got in mystery boxes. It has that kind of mystery box where they put a bunch of cool variants in it. Uh, X-Men, number one, beautiful cover. Love that. Uh, Engine Ward, number one. That's cool looking. Engine Ward number... I don't see the number, but that looks cool. Giga number one. That's a really cool looking cover. I love that. Giga number two. All right, so that's a lot of really cool stuff. Thank you, Alex. I'll look that up pretty soon and give you an idea of how much credit I'm giving you for everything. All right, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, this is a box of really exciting stuff for me. I don't know how excited you guys are going to be for this box, but I'm really excited to open this up. It's a bunch of Japanese dolls and manga, and I'm really excited to start collecting a lot more of this kind of stuff. So I'm excited to go through this box. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, I have this whole box of Yurasai Yatsuro stuff. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I love the way the artwork looks. So I got a... Oh, let me move this back a little bit. I got three of the dolls from the 1980s, I believe. These are pretty rare. I was actually watching this listing for ooh, a year, maybe. I think I gave him an offer of 150 for her over a year ago. He didn't accept it. I saw that he actually dropped it down. So I gave him an offer of like 125 and he took it. So I actually got it cheaper. <laughs> Sometimes it pays the weight. And then I got another Lum. So that's really cool. That one I think was like 75. And then I think this one was 55. So I'm actually really happy to get those three. I've been kind of enjoying the anime and wanting to get more of the manga and stuff. So I've been kind of wanting to collect more of it. So we have, this is a, like a episode guide kind of thing or something. Not sure exactly what it is, but just fun, big, colorful images from the show. And I don't know if it has, I think it's just all screen captions from the anime. Yeah, these also. So if you're not familiar with the anime, it's about a, uh, I think it translates to those crazy aliens, something like that. So Lum is a space alien who comes to Earth, basically. And then they're always dealing with all these other space aliens coming to destroy the Earth and whatnot. And it's really funny. I love it. I love the way the artwork looks. Beautiful series. And then I got the color manga, which I believe there's like 20 or 30 volumes. I think this is, yeah, this is the color manga. So they just use screenshots from the cartoon, which I think is really cool because usually manga is black and white. So here we have like a full color. As you can see, there's some kind of crazy spaceship action going on here. The anime is a ton of fun. I love it. You know, and they're always dealing with all kinds of aliens and stuff. It's right up my alley of the kind of stuff I love. 
So that is cool. I want to get all the volumes of that. I think that was $5 maybe. And then this is the actual regular manga. I think the drawn one, not the... Yeah, this one is all drawn, but I love the way it's printed. It's printed in like a black and white and red. And it's got the English and Japanese. So I think it's a dual language version. I love the way the artwork looks though. The artist who drew these... Uh, I think it's Rumiko, Rumiko Takahashi, I think. I forget. But she really, I just love her artwork. I think the way she draws is fantastic. And it's just, it's beautiful. And it's funny. Awesome stuff. So I'm really happy with that. I need to get the rest of the volumes. And then this was a, like a songbook, I believe. So this is images from the show with the music for the show like the intro and outro and all that stuff super cute super funny so i'm actually really happy with that i think i paid 200 something total for everything but i'm really happy with this this is the start of a awesome collection i cannot wait to buy some more okay this is a really fun box it has uh the comics i think are low grade but Really exciting comic books for me. Ones I don't mind having low grade just because they're expensive and hard to get. So it's 20 comic books. I paid $55.50. So what is that? $250, uh, 250 275 a comic book. So less than $3 a comic book. Some Golden Age and some Silver Age comic books. All right, I'm really excited to go through this box. Let's open it up. Okay, so he boxed it up in a box within the box. So that's really nice. Uh, that's funny. They have all the comics in magazine boards. They're huge. Okay, so let's see if this was worth... 260 a comic book uh the grades are kind of low ish so it's one of those things where i just you know i just wanted to know because there's some really awesome stuff in here for the price and some stuff that normally i probably just couldn't afford so we have forbidden worlds uh i don't see the number but we got silver age here that's a pretty cool cover three dollars is probably fine on that i mean the spine might be popped but if it was in any higher grade i think it'd be worth a lot more uh, Archie 130. We have an early Silver Age Archie. Cool robot cover. That is really neat. Let me move the camera down a little bit. Okay. I like that. I think $3. Uh, probably okay on that. You know, it's not in the best shape. Spine might be popped. Not sure. Happy with that, though. Uh, Betty and Veronica, 111. This one's pretty beat up. $3 might have been a little bit high on that. But there's one or two comic books in here. Is kind of why I bought the collection. Uh, Blackhawk 202 uh doesn't look too bad this one's nicer i think three dollars is a pretty good price on that uh spooky number 28 this one looks pretty beat so three dollars might have been a little or 260 might have been a little bit high on that uh teen confessions number not sure the number but it's really hard to get this charlton romance stuff it's a little bit beat up but i'm happy to get it it's a beautiful cover uh okay this is cool we have world's finest 173 a semi-key it's not considered the first Silver Age Two-Face, but it's like these two guys dress up as Two-Face and Superman. So it's sort of like the pre-first appearance of Two-Face in the Silver Age first appearance, sort of. Semi-key. So this one probably, even in this condition, I think has a bit of value. This probably pays for all the ones that we've seen already. So that is cool. Uh, okay, we have Adventure Comics 378. Uh, awesome cover. Not in the best shape. It's not terrible. Just it looks like a stain. No, you know, it's not too bad. It's probably like a very good three dollars is a good price on that. Uh, world's finest 190, awesome looking comic book. It looks in pretty good shape, it's a bit brown, but overall, I don't think it looks too bad. Three dollars is good on that. Uh, okay, here we go. Let me take this one out because I want to look at the condition. We have a journey in the mystery number 116. Three dollars was a steal on this. Okay, so let's look at it. It's you know, no major tears except for like that corner is a bit torn right there. Uh, back cover is a bit browned. Overall, it's probably good plus the very good. So it's actually, yeah, staples are intact. Doesn't feel like anything is cut. It doesn't feel like it's flopping like it's cut. That I'm happy with. That's got to be worth a good chunk of what I paid. So in this condition, I think this is easily a $20 or $30 comic book. So I think this kind of pays for half of what I paid for everything. That is awesome. Really happy with that one. And that's one of the reasons why I bought this lot. And then the next issue after this is another reason. So we have Avengers number seven, very low grade. It looks water damaged. It looks stained. It looks beat. 
yeah, this is like a poor, I don't even think this is fair. It's very brown, kind of brittled, but it looks complete. And I don't have a seven, so I'm really happy to have that. For $3, perfect place marker. A low grade like this, just to have it until I can find a nicer one. I am thrilled with that, and I'm sure I can probably... Let me check the value. You know, and looking up on Comic Book Realm, they have poor at $5, but a lot of times pours have big chunks missing. This one is complete, so you can see all the image on the cover and all that. Fair, they say, is worth 30 I'm guessing in this condition, if I was to sell it, I'd probably get 15 to $20 out of it. So I'm thrilled with that. I think that was a great score for three bucks. Like with that and the journey into mystery issue, I think those two together kind of pay for the whole lot. Everything else is free. I love stuff like that. And we're not done yet. Okay, and then we have journey into mystery number 106. Low grade as well. It looks kind of water damaged, a little bit torn right there, but still pretty awesome. Looks like it's complete. I'm gonna look, pull it out. Yeah, we got back cover. Nothing's flopping, it's missing. I mean, maybe the centerfold's missing. I don't know. I don't... Uh, 13, 14... 15. Yeah, I think we're complete. So, a complete issue. No major parts missing. Just a little bit of a tear right here. And it's, you know, kind of dingy. I'm still happy with that. Easily a $5, 10 comic book. So again, a lot like this, I don't mind the low grade other stuff because it's kind of for free. Uh, okay, we have Ghostly Tales number 71. That's pretty cool. Love that. Uh, Ghostly Tales number 73. I love the Charlton Horror stuff. So I'm actually really happy to get those. We have Tip Top 205. It's in bad shape. The cover's detached, but it's an issue with the peanuts inside. That's really cool to me. You know, in this condition, $3 is probably what it's worth. So happy to have it. Uh, Young Romance number 128. Love the DC romance stuff as well. Not in the best shape, but happy to have it. Classics Illustrated, Serrano D. Bergeric. Not sure how you say that. Uh, it's a 10 cent cover. So this is an earlier Classic Illustrated. This one might have a little bit of value. We have a Walter Lance New Funnies. That is cool. Uh, Detectives, Dell 4 Color, 1168. Uh, Forbidden Worlds. Not sure the number. This one looks like a little bit better condition than the first one. Another Forbidden Worlds. Okay, those are cool. I really like those. And Unknown Worlds number 36. That's really cool. That's got to have a little bit of value as well. All right, I'm really happy with that lot. I think I got a lot of really cool older comic books. All right, so I bought this collection of comic books from Dave. It's a lot of newer, fun, exciting stuff like Stranger Things comic books and a lot of Daredevil comic books and just newer things that I wanted that I didn't have yet. And he had a really cool Hulk box, which I kind of wanted some of these printed boxes. So I'm really excited to go through this. So let's dig through this box. Daredevil number 12, number 11. Crisis on Infinite Earths, the dollar comic reprint. Daredevil 16, beautiful cover. Uh, looks like a reprint. Okay, we had the giant size X-Men number one reprint. That's pretty fun. Daredevil 13. Stranger Things 1 of 4. Stranger Things 1 of 4 again. Really like that cover. Uh, Daredevil number 16. Stranger Things 1 of 4. Daredevil 20. Daredevil 21. Daredevil 19. Daredevil annual number one. Daredevil number 22. Okay, we got another stack. Walking Dead Deluxe number one. Walking Dead Deluxe number one again. Colonel Weird Cosmogog. I don't know what this... Oh, is that the back cover? Let me see what that is. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a funny sounding comic book. Sounds cool though. Oh yeah, more Stranger Things. So it's the Stranger Things Halloween special one shot. Daredevil 23. Avengers 272. Silver Surfer 15. Silver Surfer 77, Silver Surfer 92, Avengers 322, X-Factor 124, Action Comics 403. I do like that there was some like Bronze and Silver Age mixed in. Doctor Strange number 32. Okay. And so some more Bronze Age Superman Action Comics 420. That's cool. Secret Wars 2. Injustice, God Among Us. I think that's just a one-shot. Uh, Detective 359, the Toys R Us reprint. Action Comics 429. Again, it has that marker 25 on there. Uh, Return of Wolverine number one. 
Action Comics 431. I think that's a Nick Cardi cover. I love that cover. Uh, Action Comics 424, another awesome cover. Silver Surfer 23. Silver Surfer 22. Number 19. Fantasy Masterpieces, number 2. Silver Surfer 16. Number 17. Number 18. Deathlock, number 11. Cage, number 3. Cable, number 3. Deathlock Annual number one. Captain Marvel number 48. All right, we got another stack from this box. Avengers 332. Hulk 270. Hulk 277. Amazing Fantasy 15, the reprint. Uh, Hulk 411. Silver Surfer 21. Silver Surfer 20. Silver Surfer 91. Hulk 181 reprint. That's cool. Marvel Tales featuring Thanos, number one. Man Without Fear, number four. Man Without Fear, number three. Man Without Fear, number five. Daredevil, number two. Batman Lil Gotham, number one. The free edition one. Uh, Batman White Knight Special Edition. The free edition one. Action Comics, number one reprint. Daredevil, 17. Marvel Spotlight Empire number one, Wolverine Through the Years, free edition, Daredevil number three, Man Without Fear number one, variant edition, Detective Comics 994, Man Without Fear number two, Daredevil number four. Really love these Daredevil covers. I think they're beautiful. Uh, first appearance of Daredevil reprint, uh, Batman 67, beautiful cover. I love that one. Uh, let's see. Man Without Fear, number one. Stan Lee variant. Okay, we have another stack. Daredevil 612. Uh, Detective Comics 994. Pretty awesome. Mark Brooks cover. Uh, Simpsons 245. Stranger Things. Uh, is that the back cover? No, I don't see the number. Stranger Things 3 or 4. Uh, Virgin variant of Stranger Things. Another Virgin variant. Those are, I'm guessing, connecting covers. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, I think they connect that way. That is cool. Uh, Stranger Things 4 of 4. Man Without Fear 2 Variant Edition. Stranger Things 4 of 4. Stranger Things number 4. Daredevil 15 2020 Variant. Uh, Stranger Things Zombie Boys. It's, is that the, that's the back cover. So, Stranger Things Science Camp, number one. Stranger Things Camp Nowhere, number one. I guess this is when he was hanging out with Susie at the camp. But I kind of want to read that. And then that's... Oh, that's the back cover. <laughs> I guess the back cover is preview the next ones. Uh, and Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons, number one. I think there's another copy of that. So, that might be a duplicate. I might have a few duplicates in this collection. Okay, and then one more stack in this collection. Very fun modern comic collection, though. I'm having fun with these. Uh, Science Camp, number one. Daredevil 19, Spider-Woman variant. Beautiful cover. I love that. Uh, Stranger Things, number three of four. Pretty cool cover. Number three of four again. Cool cover. Number three of four again. Number four of four. There's so many variants of each of these. Uh, another four of four. A third four of four. Awesome cover, though. Uh, Marvel Zombies version of Daredevil 20. Oh, that's the back cover. Uh, Negan Lives number one. I guess I have a duplicate unless there's a variation to that. Stranger Things 2 of 4. Daredevil 14 2020 variant. Pretty cool cover. Daredevil 13 2099 variant. Daredevil 12 Mary Jane variant. Stranger Things Science Camp 4 of 4. Stranger Things Science Camp 4 of 4. Stranger Things Science Camp 4 of 4. Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons 3 of 4. Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons 3 of 4. Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons 3 of 4. Another 3 of 4. 2 of 4. Another 2 of 4. And the Alex Ross Daredevil Virgin variant. That is cool. And uh, Marvel Comics 1000. I think there's a couple of those. There's probably at least 20 duplicates in this collection. So those should be able to sort out pretty quickly. <laughs> 
All right, so that was an awesome box. I had a lot of fun going through that. And then this is the second box I bought from Dave. So it was a two box collection. Again, a lot of newer, exciting things. I'm really excited to go through this box with you guys. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay. Lots of really cool stuff in this collection. Mostly newer stuff. So a lot of people that like the older stuff isn't really for you. But for people that like newer stuff, there's a lot of really cool stuff. So we have Darth Vader, number one. Audi Grandoff cover. Love that. Definitely has a little bit of value. Star Wars number one definitely has a little value. Detective Comics 1000. Another Detective Comics 1000 is a Jim Lee variant. Detective Comics 1000. Uh, is it a Frank Cho cover? I'm not sure. It has an old school kind of cartoony look to it. Uh, another Detective 1000. So it was really cool to get a whole bunch of those. Uh, Rick and Morty number 44. I need to work on this series. I don't have too much Rick and Morty. Uh, the Batman Who Laughs number one. Marvel Comics 1000. Daredevil number 25. The Nullified variant. That is cool. Uh, the Batman, the movie series. I think the value on this jumped for a little bit, but it looks like it came back down. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the action figure variant. This one has a little bit of value. I think I gave him more for that one. Uh, okay, next stack we have X-Men number 7. It's a homage to X-Men 141, I believe. It's a Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo variant. I thought that was a really cool cover. And then he had the Virgin variant to that. I thought that was really cool. Uh, X-Men Annual number 14, the first cameo gambit. I think I gave him more for that one. That was another one of the like semi-keys. Uh, X-Men 256, also gave him a little bit more for that. So I guess these are the ones I kind of paid up a little bit for. Uh, she number 8, this one looks like it was double signed. So I thought that was cool. Atomic Angels number 1, this one is signed. Uh, Strange, he had a whole bunch of the Stranger Things comic books, which I didn't even realize they had any. So it was really cool to get a whole collection all at once. So number one of four. Uh, Daredevil number 24. Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons one of four. Stranger Things three of four. Stranger Things three of four. So there's an A and B variant. Stranger Things three of four. Uh, Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons. So I think these are all different series. This is number two of four. I guess they had a whole bunch of miniseries and then a whole bunch of different cover variants for each cover. Uh, Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons, number two of four. Number two of four again. Another two of four. It's a really cool uh, Eye of the Beholder cover. I love that. A lot of different covers to the series. Uh, Mega Man, Brother vs. Brother variant, number 46. That is cool. I do love the Mega Man comic books. Uh, Mega Man, number 46. Stranger Things, two of four. Marvel Team Up number 46. He had a little bit older stuff in there, which was cool. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 377. Stranger Things. Uh, I'm not sure if this is like a one-shot or what it is. But that was cool. The Uncanny X-Men variant edition number one. Negan Lives number one. Stranger Things one of four. Uh, Stranger Things one of four. So these are all, I think this is a science camp. So I guess they all have different names for the miniseries. Number two of four. I just thought it was really cool that they had a whole bunch of different comic books. I didn't have any. I love Stranger Things, so I was really happy to get all these. And uh, number three of four. Those are amazing. All right, Stranger Things two of four. Number one of four. Number one of four again. Uh, Stranger Things free comic book day. Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons number one. That one's kind of cool. Stranger Things three of four. Stranger Things Chapter 3. Stranger Things 3 of 4. Stranger Things 4 of 4. Stranger Things 4 of 4 again. I don't know if these are all just retelling the comic series or if they're new stories. They kind of look like they're from the show. Like the I recognize the imagery and whatnot. Okay, number 3 of 4. Number 4 of 4. Stranger Things Chapter 4. Stranger Things Chapter 1. Stranger Things 1 of 4. Daredevil number 25. Okay, those are really cool. What I like about this collection too is he bagged and boarded everything. So they're all in pretty decent shape. And they were taken care of, which I love. Okay, Giant Size X-Men number 1 reprint. That's cool. I still need to get the original one. It's on my want list. Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earth Dollar Comics reprint. Awesome cover. Star Wars number two, Mortal Kombat X number five, Mortal Kombat X number four, Mega Man number 45, Star Wars number four, 
Mortal Kombat number six, Star Wars number five, Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme number one. It's a swirl cover, so my Paige and Wayne might want that. Uh, Mortal Kombat number three, Mortal Kombat X number two, number seven, uh, Action Comics number one reprint. I think this is the Loot Crate reprint. Mega Man number 45, Star Wars number six, Mega Man number, not sure the number on that. That might be a one shot. Uh, Mega Man number 48, Punisher Warzone number one, Fantastic Four 379. A little bit older stuff mixed in. Uh, okay, Marvel Knights, number one. Love that cover. That's a really nice cover. The Thing, number 11. Amazing Spider-Man, number three. The Marvel Milestone Edition. And it has a little Spider-Man, number 13 postcard. Uh, Hulk Hogan comic book. It's, uh, Wrestling Superstars, number one of four. Detective, number 38. Toys R Us reprint. Detective, number 359. Toys R Us reprint. Those are cool. What the, number 24. Batman 121, Toys R Us reprint. These are cool because these are all the Batman key issues. Uh, Fantastic Four 189, love the Fantastic Four. Uh, Avengers 352 with the White Vision. That's cool. Uh, Action Comics 438, I think that's a Nick Cardi cover. He had a bunch of these, but they all have a Black 25 written on them, so that's a little bit of a shame. Avengers 364, Marvel's Greatest Comics number 70. Daredevil number 23. That's a beautiful cover. The Walking Dead Deluxe number one. That's cool. Walking Dead Deluxe number one. Another variant of it. Uh, Action Comics 442. Beautiful cover. Action Comics 455. Another awesome cover. Hulk 126. This one is awesome. It has a little bit of damage right there. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. Beautiful comic book. Uh, and X-Men 137. The reprint. Awesome. It's weird that they charge $5. I like when they do the dollar reprints. The $5 reprints. That seems a little sketchy high for me. Okay, and then we have a duplicate of that. So that'll be easy for me to pull out the cell. <laughs> uh, Daredevil number six. Okay, that's a pretty cool cover. Daredevil number seven. I really like these covers in this series. Daredevil number five. Another one of these reprint issues. This is the back cover. Let me see what that is. All right, Daredevil number 10. Variant edition with a really cool cover. Love that. Uh, Stranger Things Chapter 2, Batman number 63, Shadow of the Bat number 1, oh. uh, Arkham Asylum book, not sure what that is. Oh, just a poster thing, like a pop-up poster. That's actually kind of neat. Uh, X-Men number 1 reprint. Let me move this over a little bit, the glare. Okay, Daredevil number 10. Daredevil number eight, Daredevil number nine, Batman and Robin number 232 reprint, Walking Dead 193. This is the last issue, I believe, so it has a little bit of value. Happy to have that. Daredevil 15, beautiful cover. Uh, what is that? Detective Comics 1000, $10 cover price is crazy. Yeah, that's the cover, Jim Lee cover, wraparound cover. Very cool. Happy to have it. Okay, and one more stack from this box. Another Detective 1000. Cool cover. Uh, Silver Surfer, the best defense number one. Not familiar with it, but it's cool looking. Stranger Things 3 or 4. Stranger Things 3 or 4 again. Detective Comics 1000. Stranger Things Dungeons & Dragons number 1 of 4. 1 of 4 again. A second copy of Detective 1000. Uh, these are cool. He had a couple of the Virgin variants from Stranger Things. And a Virgin variant of a Daredevil. That is cool. Stranger Things 1 of 4. And oops, that's backwards. Let me flip it. All right. We got Stranger Things 2 of 4. 2 of 4 again. And 2 of 4. There's so many different variants. It's probably like only 4 comic books total storyline-wise. And 1,000 covers. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty fun box. Okay, I have one bonus comic book I forgot to talk about. So it's one comic book I paid $14 for. Uh, they shipped in just a plastic envelope and it feels like cardboard, but it's not a solid piece. I see like folds in the flaps right here, which is terrible because there's no strength in there. So there's a chance that it got damaged. Hopefully the comic book is okay. So it looks like they put them in a priority mail box 
didn't fully cover the comic book and there's a little bit of a crease but at least it's like in the middle of the book so the book should be okay because comics you can kind of flip open a little bit but you know it's a comic book that's like 70 years old i hate these terrible shipping jobs okay so we got a patsy walker number 53 14 dollars is actually probably a pretty decent price for this it looks let's take out the bag and just see how it looks a little bit brown the backer board does look a little bit creased from the packaging job but the comic itself i think we're okay because you know comics are made to bend like that so you should be all right so it's a little bit brown it's got some creasing here a uh, little bit of creasing there but overall it's not too bad it's probably like a good plus to very good i'm actually really happy with it okay, let's see how the staples are pretty good inside it's a bit brown but it's not the end of the world yeah, I'm happy that it's kind of harder to get any Patsy Walkers under issue maybe like 90-ish for a decent price. So I'm actually really happy with that. Ooh, that was a ton of fun comic books to go through with you guys. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic comic book hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye!